Hello and welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. Today we are going to look at the difference between all-purpose light and heavyweight all-purpose. How can this tiny bucket weigh so much more? First a quick regional differentiation. So in Western Canada we don't have heavyweight muds. It's all light. And so what that means is that the fillers, like whatever sort of gypsum based fillers they use in there and maybe even the adhesive are light. They're just, they weigh less, they're less dense. Whereas a heavyweight, a traditional all purpose has very heavy fillers in them, causing the mud to be very hard and very dense. There also seems to be a lot more adhesive in a midweight or heavyweight all purpose mud. So in a lot of parts of the state, there is no such thing as lightweight taping mud. In Canada, especially Western Canada, we use lightweight taping mud. I actually had to go out of my way to Canadian Tire to find this silly tiny bucket of heavyweight all purpose. It's the first time I've ever seen it anywhere in this region. There is also a big difference in strength. Heavyweight all purposes dry really hard. When you try and crack a crumb, it's quite difficult to do. But with the lightweight all purpose, when you take those crumbs, they break really easily. So there's a huge difference in strength, which makes me wonder, why would you tape with a midweight all purpose when they're actually so weak and brittle? Next, let's get into what the stuff looks like in the box or bucket when you buy it. Typically, conventional heavyweight muds actually have more water in the mix. This is actually usable for taping, like your basic taping needs, basic hand taping. It doesn't need to have a lot of water added to make it workable. And that's pretty typical of box or bucket muds that I have found. It's also really shiny and heavy. Like you can noticeably feel if you're used to lightweight muds and you pick this up, you can feel there's a lot more mass on here. And again, it smells different, it's shinier, it seems there's more glue, it just seems more dense. Next, let's get into a box of lightweight all-purpose. This mud is typically much drier, so it keeps its form a lot more in there. You can see it, it just, it doesn't slot back in. And look at just how porous and aerated it is. Like you can see, it's just very different. It feels lighter on the knife. It's a very different product. It doesn't smell as gluey. It also takes a lot more water to mix it down enough to the point that it can be used. Look at this, it's not slumping around, it's kind of like a solid blob. It's a lot more like the consistency of painter's spackle. I actually love using this stuff straight out of the box for doing wall repairs before paint, like small dents and damage because it sands really easy compared to products like dry decks or other traditional painter's spackle. And it doesn't shrink much when you use it in this form. Now that we have a general idea of the difference of heavyweight all-purpose, what are some of the pros and cons? So some of the good things about heavyweight all-purpose is it's really good for taping, super sticky, super hard and durable finish. It also says right on the bucket that it's good for skim coating. However, getting into some of the bad points, it's really difficult to sand. I know this from experience. If you load it on for your first coat and it's a bit thick, or you leave some stuff to sand on your finished coat, you're gonna burn out your shoulders and elbows. This stuff sucks to sand. One of the next cons, obviously, is that it's very heavy. So carrying the buckets around really sucks. It also gets really heavy in the pan, in your hand. It's easily 30% heavier, which adds up a lot over time. So your repetitive strain injuries are going to be a lot worse with this product than they are with the light stuff. The fact that there's more glue makes it just seem to shrink more. The glue has shrinking properties. But overall, I think Heavyweight All-Purpose is a great product. And if we actually had Heavyweight All-Purpose in Canada, this is what I would use for taping over a lightweight taping mud. I just think it's a better product. Next, let's get into the Lightweight All-Purpose. So first off, obviously it's light, so less repetitive strain injuries. It's also a little bit easier to push with a knife or a trowel. You can just kind of feel that it's less sticky and a little bit more slick, but not in a gluey slick, more in like a light slick, if that makes any sense. Next, it's very easy to sand, which leads to one of the downsides. It's very easy to scratch. 
And next, one of the other biggest downsides is it has much poorer adhesion and is just generally less durable than a heavyweight all-purpose. So I don't even actually consider a lightweight all-purpose really an all-purpose. If I'm in a pinch, I'll tape with it, but only if I have no other option. The main benefit to this stuff is if you only want to carry around one bucket and you don't tape very much and you just need some filler that sands easily but isn't so light that you can't tape with it, then this is good stuff. So it has its benefits too. So the last thing I wanted to do was I wanted to do a tape test. So I have here two tapes that were put on with all-purpose light. We're gonna put on a tape with heavyweight all-purpose and tomorrow I'm gonna come and rip them off and see if I can notice any difference. Okay, so I'm gonna use this stuff straight out of the bucket, no thinning it down. Get a nice spread on here. And now, because I actually liked that sort of homeowner handy dude hack so much of wetting the paper tape before you apply it, I did it again. For using mud straight out of the bucket, it actually worked really well, if you guys watched that video. That's installed. Now tomorrow we're gonna to come back and we're gonna do a pull test, see how it went. We're back. So just a couple more quick notes about the old tube usage in French. I forgot to mention that it's also one of the ideal muds to coat steel or vinyl corner bead for your first coat because the adhesion is so good. Now, after all that, I'm pretty inexperienced with this mud, but I was using it today and my first impressions after not using it for a long time are it's heavy, sticky, hard to work with, doesn't spread nicely, very bubbly. So in general, it's a pain to work with. And while if I use this exclusively, I may leave a harder, better finish for my customer's walls, it's also gonna be much more painful for me to use. It's gonna take longer because it shrinks more and doesn't leave as nice a finish. So I would have to charge accordingly to use this stuff. And I think the market is built around using muds that are easier to use, even though they're garbage and fall apart. Now let's get you guys a little closer and rip these tapes off. Let's start with one of the all-purpose that I did in a video a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, it left some stuff on. Shall we get an up-close look? No, no, let's do that in a bit. Let's do the other all-purpose. Oh, that's working pretty good. This is also still the light. Now, what was the difference? This was the one that I did with the water method, like the handyman homeowner water method. And this was the one that I did with just regular all-purpose mud, not doing the handyman method. And it's sticking better. So that's something to note. Adding water to the tape makes it not stick quite as well as when you use just properly thinned down drywall mud. Let's take a look at that. There's the first one and it really pulled off pretty cleanly until about here. And I could still get that off though. So it came off pretty easy. And then there's the one that I used mud without the wet tape. And that really left a lot of the tape on there. So that one had better adhesion. Now let's try this one, the all-purpose with water on the tape. If this comes off easy, we're gonna have to do another test now. I thought this video was over. Oh, okay, it came off easy there. Now nah, that came off really easy. Hmm. I think we should do an all-purpose without adding water to the tape. Okay, here we go. Just heavyweight all-purpose with no water added to the tape. And this is straight out of the bucket, so it's not thinned down either. I suspected that adding water to the tape might actually reduce the adhesion. And the reason I thought it might reduce the adhesion is instead of the glue saturating the tape, you've got water saturating the tape. So the glue doesn't really have as good a chance to sink its teeth into the paper tape. Whereas this one, the all-purpose light, you know, that was a really good result. Like, 
I actually think that's acceptable. Like I would tape with all purpose light more often now after seeing that. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm gonna give this a little bit of time to let the glue saturate into the tape. I'm not just gonna wipe it out right away. I'm just gonna kind of hang out, check my Instagram, you know, hang out, how you doing? All right, so that's been about a minute and now I'm gonna start pulling this thick, sticky mud out from under this tape. Oh, wrinkles. Oh man, where's that wet tape, huh? Well, it doesn't have to be perfect. I need to let the perfectionism go. This is an adhesion test, not a real joint. Okay, there's still lots of mud under that tape. I can feel the tape is kind of wet, it's saturating. Let's check on that tomorrow. Time for our final tape pull test. Let's see how it does. Oh, that's really good. What you guys can't see, maybe you can, is it's actually just pulling the tape right in half. So I actually can't get all this stuff off. I'm gonna try from the other side, if I can even get a hold on it. Yeah. Okay, this definitely works well. Uh, uh. Okay. All-purpose heavyweight for the win. Completely ripped the tape in half lengthways. Whereas here we have all-purpose mid. It was definitely better. And then we've got all-purpose heavyweight with water. All-purpose light with water. So what does that tell you guys? Maybe don't do that homeowner trick anymore. The bond is not as good as you think. Well, I am impressed with how well that heavyweight all-purpose works. Like I said, you guys, I think it's just a better product than light muds altogether, except for the finishing stages. Better for the customer, harder for me. Anyways, I hope you guys got something useful out of this video. Thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Hope your project's going well. Hope you have something to do. I mean, you don't just watch videos all day, do you? Okay, moving on. I mean, moving on to like turning off your computer. Bye. I mean it, go build something.